The practice of choreographing for me is embodying an idea. To really do that, I look within and find where a movement originates. I'm working towards making these emotions feel authentic to an experience a dancer or myself has actually had within that emotion. Particularly in Project One collaboration with David, it is intimately related to emotions. David and I really work in different ways. Um, one of the things that I find about David really interesting is he's very systematic. He really thinks through things and wants every part to be integrated, which of course is something that I am interested in. However, David takes it to another level with his science background. What I had been working on before Jacqueline and I were collaborating was making drawings with machines. I'd send them very simple rules and they would repeat those rules again and again and again to build up an image. My interest in using machines is the way that they are reductive to drawing, so they can reduce drawing to these very simple parts. The more you reduce, you can start seeing these tiny variations in the line, in the composition, in what's happening, in how it's coming into being, and amplify those to become visible. Um, things that you normally wouldn't see about drawing that are hidden or they're, they're clouded by larger scale things like content, what you're drawing exactly. And I wanted to work with someone to translate those into line drawings, essentially, to capture that subtlety of the human body. It started with these 2D drawings where David would put a pen onto my body and we would just draw uh, the, same, the same thing, but it was more of drawing with the body moving in a certain way. While it did have some interesting aspects, we moved out of that process into using photographic paper and lasers, which allowed me as a choreographer and as a mover to have more freedom. Working with a dancer is, is great because it's someone that has much more control of their body, so we can really hone in on specific things and find these very subtle things and amplify them. These gestures that we're doing with the laser, I am not the only one doing them. David is also doing them. When David would do them and we'd put them up next to each other, there was a stark difference between the two which is what we found most interesting rather than myself just doing these gestures and creating the line that it creates with these lasers. I think about it the opposite of what I was doing with drawing, where I was building these machines to be re reductive, to reduce drawing to like a pen on paper, how the pen interacts with paper even. We start with some of these, sim these simple ideas of balance and form, simple instructions, and we've extended that out into larger choreographed pieces. That also involves sound and video and uh, multiple dancers. Incorporating a lot of the ideas that we've found in the studio and build a whole complicated system out of it through like the motions and just how we're working together. My center is like 
Yeah, that's how. That's David how. and I had a conversation earlier today about to embody something, you also have to be grounded and um, find that center. And David made it very apparent that he didn't know what it meant to find a center. I think through this, he's become more aware of what his body is saying, what the language of the body can do, and, and how we can really fully embody ourselves and be centered.